for those of you out there, if you can't take a full breath in, that means more. Uh, you, you can't exercise? Definitely not. I couldn't play basketball. My number one thing to do. Uh, you're a young guy. Yeah, you, know? you can't do anything where you're getting yourself out of breath. I mean, even climbing stairs, yeah. you have to stop. You know, he's take a young a guy. Breath. Let's go ahead and take him into another room and show you how we adjust a hiatal hernia. All right, so welcome everybody. Dr. David Culler here with Synergy Wellness, Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. We've got Aaron here who came in uh, because he saw a video on uh, on uh, hiatal hernias, yep. right? Yep. And uh, you've been he's been suffering from a hiatal hernia for 10 years. Um, really bad symptoms. Why don't you tell everybody about it and then you can tell everybody about your first treatment. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, so I've been suffering from a hiatal hernia, acid reflux for the past 10 years. Um, been in and out of uh, PPI medications, um, suffer from really, really severe heartburn, like not being able to go to sleep. Um, one of the worst conditions that I had was my, my breathing was, it was like very limited. I couldn't get, it was very shallow. I couldn't get a really deep, uh, deep, deep breath or nothing like that. Um, so I was searching for a whole bunch of things, alternatives. The, everybody kept telling me that the only thing I was able to probably do was actually get surgery. And so well, let me add to that, uh, not to cut you off yeah. here, but you, um, you said you, you weren't able to breathe. So, I mean, for, for those of you out there, if you can't take a full breath in, that means more. Uh, you, you can't exercise? Definitely not. I couldn't play basketball. My number one thing to do. Uh, you're a young guy. <laughs> yeah, you, know? you can't do anything where you're getting yourself out of breath. I mean, even climbing stairs, yeah. you have to stop. You know, he's take a young breath. guy. He's, I mean, the first, as soon as I would get up, the first thing I would think about is, can I take a good deep breath today? Which is, you know. For 10 is, years he's been suffering. Then that's not it. He's also lost weight. Yeah, definitely. Right? And that's definitely. been recent. So he's had the hiatal hernia for 10 years, but now it's gotten to the point where. It's affecting my life, you know, extremely that they would tell. I was going to a gastroenterologist and then they would just kept telling me that I needed to get a, a Mason fungification surgery or something like that with the hiatal yeah. hernia. So, you know, I, I felt like there was always better alternatives through the research. I ended up finding, um, you know, doctor over here, and, and through the YouTube videos that I've seen, I was almost sure that he can definitely help me. So honestly, the first time that I ever came over here for the first two time, two days, uh, not yesterday, the day before no, yesterday, yeah, day before yesterday. So we saw him two days ago for his first visit, and, and the first reaction he had when he came into the office was pretty awesome. I could breathe for the first time in ten years. Honestly, like I could, I could finally take a deep breath. Like I feel so amazing right now. Like I feel like you're like a savior to me. Honestly, That's really like, you're great. like an angel. Like oh, it's so it's crazy. That. Honestly, I'm just guiding you along. You know, um, we're gonna give you stretches and exercises that you're gonna have to do on your own. And really, you're gonna be just as much of this healing this uh, hiatal hernia as I am. I'm just guiding you along here, but. I think it's important for people to understand uh, there's a lot of people that get this surgery and it can be avoided in a lot of cases not every case but a lot of cases uh, we cool. have treated so many cases here successfully um, and I hope at some point you go on Google and write a review about it because um, when people are searching the internet oftentimes they find surgical um, interventions but they don't find the non-surgical and as you said, you've had it for 10 years and it took you, years. how the, many years of research to get to this point though? This is the best I've ever felt, ever. So I, you were took, researching other other techniques or yeah, other was, ways uh, to treat hiatal hernia? Yeah, I was, I was researching a whole bunch of different things. And basically everything almost kept on landing to, at the point that I was at, surgery. So everything kept on going surgery, 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 surgery. And, and, and rightfully so, the, the, the reason for that is there's not a lot of research behind what we're gonna do. And we've had um, surgeons uh, that do the hiatal hernia um, surgery, you know. We've had them um, comment on some of our hiatal hernia videos. And uh, it's important that they understand that there are other methods to try that are much more conservative. Definitely. And that should always be tried before uh, anybody goes for surgery. And it's it's not invasive at all, and it's perfectly safe. And we're gonna show everybody um, how we go ahead and treat a hiatal hernia. Okay, yep. you ready? Thanks, so he's gonna get his second adjustment. He also had some back pain and mid-back pain. Um, so 
uh, it's only going to get better for him as far as the breathing, the back pain, and of course the uh, the weight loss and the acid reflux and, uh, and, and stomach pain. So let's go ahead and take him into another room and show you how we adjust a hiatal hernia. All right, we're filming now. So uh, this is the second version or video of the first one. So we just um, edit out the beginning of that part, guys. Okay, so we've got Aaron here. We're going to adjust him. Um, he does have just some simple muscle and joint dysfunctions here in the body that we're going to correct first before we correct the hiatal hernia. But uh, we're going to have the right side up. It's important to note that uh, a lot of people suffer from different uh, symptoms with hiatal hernia. There's a lot of different symptoms. Uh, just to list off a few, stomach pain, bloating uh, after eating, um, ga uh, gas, burping, um, and you don't have to have all of them. You can have one, a few of them, all of them, a mixture of them. Weight loss is another one. Regurgitation. Uh, regurgitation of food, uh, acid reflux, GERD. Um, uh, difficulty taking a full breath in sometimes, yeah. um, because the hernia uh, goes through the diaphragm and sometimes the, the diaphragm is pulled down and he can't pull his diaphragm up and take that full breath in uh, what else what other symptoms am I missing here uh, erosion of the um, the esophagus um, ulcers also yeah, definitely I have it Barrett's esophagus, which is cancer, and that you do not want. So you've had this for 10 years, and there's a risk of Barrett's esophagus, okay? So you always need to go in and get your esophagus and your endoscopies and periodically have checkups along those lines, okay? So I'm excited here. It's his second visit already. He, first thing he said when he came in, I could breathe like a normal human being, and that's great. I'm uh, excited to get started with him here. Ready? Right. Adjustment number two. So go ahead, take a deep breath in and blow all the way out. Good. The other side up. And bend this top leg again here. Good. That side was tight. So, how much do you weigh now? Oh, one in between like 140, 145. My weight always was about 160, 170. Okay. I'd like to try to get you back up in May, in about six months, back up to that normal weight again. Okay? That would be so lovely. Uh, take the uh, lay on your stomach. A lot of people end up getting that surgery for hiatal hernia, um, and the outcomes are not always that great, as you have many of you probably read on the internet and just researched on your own. But uh, he's been researching um, it on his own for years, and there's not a lot of information about the maneuver that we're going to do. That's tender right there, huh? Yeah. You turn over on your back. Um, there just isn't. Um, but sometimes that's the case and obviously research needs to be done but for now um, it's a non-invasive technique and it certainly can't hurt to try it. What you did for me on one visit is a miracle. It's great. Really, it really is. Well I can't wait to see when, when, once we get a few more uh, treatments under our belt here so all right maybe we'll follow up with you on your next visit too and see how you're doing after your second adjustment okay go ahead take a deep breath in tuck your chin down and come on up half a sit up and blow all the way out good and head back good okay hands up all right relax your arms
little neck pain there on the left side. Nice and easy. Doing okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now I know you're sore from uh, the first uh, hiatal hernia maneuver where we kind of we get in there under the ribs and so slide the shirt up. What we're going to do here is just laser you for a minute to calm the inflammation down, calm any muscle spasms down, and just make it easier for you and less painful, okay? You're just going to hold that right there just for a minute. Okay. So now that we've lasered it, it's calmed the inflammation down, the spasms in the stomach, and some of the pain as well, you'll notice right away. It's still tender. Okay. So we're gonna do a really gentle hiatal hernia maneuver on him today. We just did it two days ago on him. He's still sore, it was his first one. So again, we're gonna go real easy. He's gonna be sore. If it's too much for you, let me know. Because really what we're doing here is uh, manipulating viscera. And people get sore afterwards. He was already sore when we when we started, so how are you doing here, okay? feels abdominal wall kind of blocking me then once we get under that rib cage sometimes I can feel uh, you know the stomach the esophagus I can feel it like uh, pulsating and regurgitating a little bit uh, sometimes I'll even hear the gas bubbles and burping I don't know if you hear that yet Cross your arms in front of you. Tuck your chin. Take a deep breath in, half a sit up. Good, and blow all the way out. Good. Another deep breath in, deep hug. Yep, there you go, there you go. and blow all the way out. And relax, head back, okay? and on your stomach. So right here in the lower thoracic region, upper lumbar region is, is the diaphragm. And we wanna make sure that his thoracolumbar region is moving and functioning properly so you can get a deep breath in right there you feel that yeah okay i need you to sit up go ahead sit up for me and face the doorway there mm -hmm. this 
on here. You see the other one? Yep. Look straight ahead and then tuck your chin down. Yep. And tuck your shoulders. Good. Just like that. Good. Keep it tucked just like that, okay? Take a deep breath in. And blow all the way out. Stay tough. Stay tough. Good. And relax. I got you. And relax. Okay. Harder for you to relax today. You still sore? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And lay back on your back. Yeah, like this. Side of my back feels sore. Okay. Turn over on your stomach and chin at the bottom of the white paper there. So we're just going to open up that diaphragm and all the vertebra that's, that uh, supplies diaphragm with nerve supply. And do a little bit of cox flexion distraction technique. straight, raise one leg as high as you can, and down, the other one, good, one leg harder to raise than the other, uh, this one is like a little harder, but it got a lot better from the last time I seen you, okay, cross that right ankle over the left one, yeah, it wasn't going up nearly as high last time, so, just another correction we have to make here, okay, uncross that, and raise them up one at a time, how's that, good, Okay, now turn over on your back. I want to check your foot. Let's take a look here. Yeah, this is the problem. So see this? Yeah. See how your this foot doesn't dorsiflex as much? Yeah. So we're just going to do a little ankle adjustment here, and that should fix the problem. Relax here. That's it, your foot pain should be gone after that. We might have to do one more adjustment in that ankle area, but I, I doubt it, okay? Yeah. Um, you're all set? Thank you. Okay? All right, look forward to helping you. Thank you so much. You're welcome.